Next up, we have Robert Dickert and Mike Rissi from the Velocity team. OK. Hi, everyone. I'm Robert Dickert. Mike Rissi. Sam Hatsu. We're all members of the Velocity team, and we'd like to talk to you about Velocity Release 0.6. Um, we'd like to thank Zalvio. Um, the uh, founders of Zalvio got involved for uh, both, both Sam and, uh, and also Jonas. Uh, spent two weeks each building this release. So we'd like to thank Zalvio for that. And Sam, can you tell us a little bit more about Zalvio? Sure, yeah. So what we do is uh, we uh, work with companies to improve their testing strategy and help them deploy code to production faster. And uh, uh, if, we, if you'd like to, if, if you're starting to scale, you're a startup starting to scale, then talk to us. Great, so let's get right into the features. Uh, so the first feature we'd like to talk about is very simple. We added Windows support. Uh, thanks to Jonas for many hours of work putting this in. If you are a Windows user, you can now use Velocity the same way that anyone else can that's using a Mac or Linux. So the big thing that we did is uh, we added a lot of stability. Uh, a bit of history is that the way that Velocity used to work is it would start up a mirror by waiting for Meteor to f finish its build process, and then it would start a node process at the end of that on the um, build files, which would start a separate server. And uh, we were doing a lot of fiddly stuff in keeping that in sync. And so what we've done now is instead of doing that, we've forked uh, the uh, Meteor um, uh, uh, like the whole Meteor. And uh, it now um, compiles all the t um, tests that are inside the test directory into a separate temporary directory. Um, and so in doing that, we use the rock solid features of Meteor to, uh, to be stable. And the other thing is that the, um, the, the way that you start the bearers now is the same as the test packages. Um, what that means is uh, we, how does it work again? Uh, so you basically have uh, a long running process that runs side by side with uh, your normal Meteor dev app. Um, and you're not constantly restarting the process, which led to a lot of stability problems in the past. That's right. Um, a smaller feature, but one that's like pretty interesting in this release, is uh, supporting Meteor Debug. Uh, quick poll, how many of you have used Meteor Debug with your app? So that's not nearly enough. It's an awesome feature. <laughs> um, you should all check it out, and uh, it lets you use the developer tools with server-side code. Uh, I want to give you a quick demo of what that looks like with uh, Velocity. So basically, you can see that I put like a little breakpoint in here with this uh, debugger line. And even though it looks like it's, uh, I'm just looking at client code, if I type something like Meteor is server, it's true, and I'm able to interact with the server code here. So check out Meteor Debug. It's awesome. And if you're, logging, if you're looking for your logs and you're not, not sure where they are, they're in this directory. They're not going to show up in your console. So that's uh, just sort of a gotcha. OK, this is a list of frameworks that are supporting 0 0.6 right now. Uh, the thing of note is that we now support package testing for Jasmine and Mocha. So if you've been using TinyTest to test your packages and you'd rather use the Jasmine or Mocha syntax, uh, now is a great chance to give it a try. So as always, you can learn more at velocity.meteor.com, follow our blog, and if you have any questions, uh, head over to the Meteor forums. Thanks. That's it. Thank you. One of the uh, earlier talks Talked about multiple mirrors, potentially speaking of testing. How's that going? Hmm. It's going. Um, so the new changes with the mirrors. Um, so I, I mentioned the node mirrors would um, start up at, after the build process. The new mirror is actually a separate meteor process. So the way to make this parallel now is after that meteor process starts, then we can start node mirrors. Um, how that's going, it's on the cards, but we haven't got around to it yet. Uh, Soon. Just a little background for everyone else that didn't see that talk. Uh, we showed something a while ago where we were in like a huge number of uh, Meteor processes at the same time, and that allowed you to paralyze and end end test suite. So you had a suite that ran in 80 seconds. It ran in two seconds. All right, any other questions? Thanks very much.